Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see how to use VLOOKUP on big and large data. So let's get started. Let's first understand what exactly we are going to do in this example. While using VLOOKUP, we face one major challenge. That is to identify the column index number while using this formula. You may ask what is the problem in identifying the column index number? Say for example, I have the table with 4 columns and hardly 10 rows of data. We normally term this as a small data. And obviously, we have input and output columns within same 4 columns. When we use VLOOKUP on such a small data, we can easily count the column index number of the output column and use it directly into the formula. Now say for example, we have the data which has nearly hundreds or thousands of columns and even rows are in terms of thousands or lakhs. Such a huge data is termed as big data. And now imagine using VLOOKUP on such a huge data. We can select the table array real quick using some shortcut keys. But when it comes to column index number, we cannot count it because we have huge number of columns in the data. And unfortunately, in the real world, this is the real scenario we face. I hope you understood the problem. Now let's go to the solution portion of this and see what exactly we are going to do. At first, we are going to use match function and we are going to look up for a value into an lookup array and we know this lookup array can be single row or a single column and this function will return the position of the value we are searching for in a given row or a given column. Once we get the position of the value we are looking for, we are going to provide this as an input to the column index number argument in VLOOKUP function. Bottom line, we are requesting match function to do the job of identifying the column index number. So let's go back to Excel and see this as an example. So we are back into Excel and this is the data we will be using as an example. This data has around 100 columns and around 200 rows and basically has the data of different employees like their email ID, phone number, date of birth, department, date of joining, salary, bonus percentage and also it has the sales record of each employee for 90 years from 1911 to year 2000. I know it is not a practical example to take up but I wanted to show different data in all different columns and this was the scenario I thought of. I have purposefully highlighted two columns here, employee number and employee name and we will use this in our example as lookup columns. In the next sheet, I have mentioned same two columns as input, employee number and employee name and we are going to see two different scenarios in this example. The first scenario is when we have the lookup value in the first column. The second scenario is when we have the lookup value at any random position within our data. And in both the cases, we will try to pull the sales record in the year 1990 without counting the column index number. Let's start with this scenario 1, wherein our lookup value is in the first column. As an example, let me select employee number 5 from the drop down list and then try to pull this employee sales record. Let me start with the match function. Lookup value will be year 1990. Lookup array will be first row in our data. As we know, all the year numbers are in headers. And match type will be exact match. Close the parenthesis and hit enter to get the output as 90. It just means the column with header name 1990 is at the 90th position in our data. Let's check if this is correct. On the right side, we have the column with header 1990. Let's select this header and then select all the headers to its left. And we see the total selected cells count is 90. This means our match function is providing the correct output. Let me copy this match function. I will shortly paste it while using the VLOOKUP. Let's add the VLOOKUP function. Lookup value will be employee number 5. For the table array, let's select all the rows and columns using shortcut keys. Ctrl shift down arrow to select all the rows and Ctrl plus shift plus right arrow to select all the columns. Please note, our selection must begin from the first column as our lookup value is in the first column. Now as the input to column index number, let's paste the match function here and range lookup will be false for exact match. Close the parenthesis and hit enter to get the output as 390. Let's go back to our data, filter first column with employee number 5. 
then scroll to the right until we get the column with the year 1990 and we see our value is same that is 390 so this combination of vlookup and mesh function works perfectly next we will see scenario number 2 where our lookup value is at any random column position in this case it is employee name let's select aro boss from the drop down which is basically the name of employee number 5 and let's see if we can get the same output let me start with the match function lookup value will be year 1990 lookup array will be first row in our data and match type will be exact match as we know the output will be 90 now we have a challenge here we cannot use this value directly into vlookup formula because this time our lookup value is in the fourth column and our selection must begin from fourth column and obviously we will have to reduce the count of first three columns from this output so to achieve this we will subtract another match function output and this time we will search for employee name column in the first row of our data and this will return the value as 4 since employee name column is at the fourth position so the final output will be 86 now this is very important the requirement was to remove first three column counts but we actually removed first four column counts to fix this let's add plus 1 at the end of the match function and now the output will be 87 let me copy this entire match function and i will shortly paste it while using the vlookup function let's add vlookup lookup value will be employee name arav bhos for table array let's select all the rows and columns starting from fourth column as our lookup value is in the fourth column let's use shortcut keys control plus shift plus down arrow to select all the rows and control plus shift plus right arrows to select all the columns now as an input to column index number let's paste the entire match function and the range lookup will be false for exact match close the parenthesis and hit enter to get the output as 390 which is same output as above so using this trick we can use v lookup on any big data with any number of columns that's what i wanted to cover in this video